I've worked with a variety of manufacturers and suppliers. In fact, when I first came to this college, we had uh, a range of machines here, uh, and Rico kit gave me the least amount of trouble. So we've moved largely over to Rico. My account manager is at the end of the phone uh, and will put me in touch with whoever I need to be in touch with. Uh, and that's one of the good things about Rico is they cover quite a wide breadth of knowledge there and you've got access to it and best practice and uh, it's very, very helpful. The team at The Print Room turned to Rico to support its ambition to help staff and students thrive through the production of high quality print-based learning material and large format creative and information displays. Today, it is more adaptable, productive, efficient and effective than ever before. The Print Room has innovated to become far more accessible and sustainable with the use of market direct storefronts supplied by Rico. This system allows users to access its services remotely and place print orders. As a result, Birmingham Metropolitan College has reduced the number of desktop printers across its campuses from 400 to 50, which have also now been switched to using recycled media where possible. A print credit system has also been introduced for all users to enable and streamline their access to the print room. We have uh, approximately 20,000 students spread over three main campuses. We do roughly 10 million prints a year. When I came here, we, it was a small team, um, three machines running about 12 million black and white images a year. Um, and since the pandemic, certainly, our volumes are starting to creep back up again. Mostly about the nature of the work we do. So pre-pandemic, for instance, it would have been A4 documents, quite a staple, fairly simple, standard stuff. Uh, now we're into producing perfect bind books and booklets. So we've got three mono engines. Um, two have the Plockmatic booklet maker with the trim attached to them, and the third has the perfect binder. Um, they just keep churning it out. Um, they're incredibly reliable, which is what I like as a manager. Um, and they can be left alone, so because we've taken on the wide format, my team can set those machines off producing booklets all day long, and then they can move off and do other processes. Um, so that's why I like those, they're really good. We also have uh, Pro Color, the 7200. Um, so the monos tend to do mostly the class notes and the colour is mar mostly for the marketing material. The motivation for any new purchase is uh, having a good return on investment and I think there's four strands to that frankly and that is the functionality or capability of the equipment you're going to buy, its reliability uh, and its affordability and then follow that up by a supplier who can actually provide you with the service to keep those machines running. Um, it's enabled us to have a next day turnaround for some of our products. We specifically on the storefront have two products called Quick Doc and Quick Booklet, which are essentially where the, the um, user doesn't have to select any finishing options or paper sizes. That's all set. So they're mono, they're either single stapled or as a booklet. You just upload your document, order the quantity. We aim to turn that round next day. Um, so that, that we would never have been able to have done that previously. Supplying the work into us, we use Marketing Direct Storefront um, and that's been really successful. Um, it enables our curriculum side in particular to submit work to us at any time. We've used a part of Digital Storefront's email function to all users. Um, we've got thousands of jobs coming in this last couple of days. It's just almost overwhelming the amount of work that's been piling in for the start of term. Um, and that's been really good. What we need to do now in terms of develop that, that storefront is to make it even easier for them in terms of the product offering on there. Now, to get the best out of your kit, you've really got to sweat it. So that automation process is absolutely vital to make sure that those operators are operating at least two machines at once, preferably three. It's absolutely vital to us. And essentially the operators are just keeping an eye on the machines, making sure they're operating, but they don't have to deal with pre-flighting and all the rest of that stuff that goes with print.
Um, that would then allow us to look at more commercial uh, avenues that might be open to us. And as a side to that, we've moved into the wide format. Um, the learning environment is becoming more and more important uh, and colleges are trying to bring that in-house. So we are producing wallpapers, signage, but the, the students' artwork, examples of the students doing their thing, whether that's in science, playing sports, uh, and they get put onto Fomex boards and dotted all around the college. Trying to move into the wide format arena, which we'd recognised was um, the area we needed to move into because of the signage I've previously mentioned. Um, and then there was a project happening uh, to revamp our A-level centre and the costs for having all of that stuff externally printed became quite significant. And it was a good opportunity for me to put the business case forward saying, well, we can print this and buy the equipment in, or at least the equipment in, to get this job done, less than we could have bought it in from an external supplier. And that got that ball rolling. Uh, and we've expanded that now since because that was a roll-to-roll -roll machine. Um, but most of the stuff we do these days is on Fomex. And so this year we've just uh, purchased our first flatbed. The unit was chosen simply because of its footprint. Um, we have limited space in our print room and actually limited access as well. Uh, and that was one of the few machines we could actually physically get in through the door. Um, but it also ticked all the requirements that we needed to, so that's why we went down that route. Been really good, yeah. Mostly because it's a UV um, and that enables us to print right up until the last minute. Um, and typically we, we would do stuff for our students, our art students end of the year. So, and we have been printing at half past four of an evening for the show opening at five o'clock for them to get it out and up and the UV has, has really helped us with that. We have strong links in with local schools. We could offer them the print facility, branding, um, digital storefront and getting additional skins put on it that could match the school and offer them um, more of a range of materials that they could possibly have to do as a school. And it is just trying to get people uh, aware of what actually is possible. We recently, as part of our uh, professional development week, put on a marketplace for our curriculum colleagues to come down and see what we can do. Um, it was quite an eye-opener for even some of the senior staff. Um, we put a window graphic up, for instance, behind us, who just went, didn't realise you could do that. Oh, could you do this for us? Well, yes, we can. So getting that message out is what really drives me, I think.